Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company and I'm about to install this appliance and I don't have the cord because a lot of these appliances, even the garbage disposal, those types of things like that, they don't usually come with a power cord. So right here, I'm getting ready to finish this installation of a dishwasher and we're coming down to the end and I just wanna get all this done. We have everything else up in this casita and I don't wanna make another trip back. And I know I've done this before where you hardwire in something that is not uh, manufactured to be hardwired in, but it's exactly the same, like the way you hook it up. So what I did is I went ahead and I'm going to show you how we can take an extension cord and use that as the power cord for your appliance. This is not something I recommend for everybody, but it is a way to create your own power cord. You create whatever length power cord you want, probably be cheaper. I don't know, it kind of depends on what you have available. I mean, really, you could even use a power cord for like an old vacuum. If you ever have an appliance that stops working, you're gonna throw it away. That vacuum is pretty much on its last leg. I may cut this off. You can use this as a power cord for something else. Or like I said, you can use it for an appliance. But I'm right here, I have this. I have an extension cord that's like 75, 100 feet. It's like way too long anyways. So I'll cut a piece off and put a new uh, end on it later. But I'm gonna use that on this to install on the dishwasher so we can go ahead and finish that. But this video is going to be about how to install or create your own power cord. So I have this extension cord here. It's way too long and I do not want to go to the store and spend 20, 30, 40 bucks on a wiring kit for my appliance. So I'm going to cut about seven feet because we have a three foot cabinet and we need to go a couple feet out when we pull the appliance. So I want at least six to seven feet of length. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to wire this into my appliance. And then I have a video on my channel already and I'll probably make another one that if you ever have a damaged extension cord, how you can install your own male or female plug onto it if you want to. So I'll redo this with a new plug and I'll be able to use this for my appliance. I'll be able to make it work. You can use a cord off of almost any other type of appliance. The only thing you gotta kind of pay attention to is the gauge thickness of the wire that you're using. This is actually thicker than the wires on the dishwasher that I'm gonna be installing it on. But the one thing you don't wanna do is have thicker wires on the appliance and then be putting smaller gauge wires on the plug. You don't wanna go down in size. So this is actually going up, so there'll be no problem with the power flow. And a lot of these appliances anyways have very small gauge wires, so you don't have to worry about it. But this is how we're gonna make it work. We'll strip this back, clean these wires up, connect them, and then we can install our appliance. So we cut this off here. This is about seven feet. We have these here. And then on the bottom of our dishwasher, we have our hookup. Take that off. We have our ground, black and white, hot and neutral. We're just gonna strip this back and then we can connect those wires, run it underneath, run it into the cabinet, and then we have power source for our dishwasher and we can get this thing installed. And all I did here is take a little straight blade, make a little incision, just lightly so I don't scar the wires inside. We can peel this back. This stuff has been out in the sun for a little bit, so it's a little brittle. But again, inside we're gonna find those exact same three wires. This is pretty much what you're gonna find inside of every extension cord. Just really depends on the gauge of the wire and the thickness and how expensive that extension cord is. You're gonna have thicker wires. But these are already a perfect gauge for our dishwasher. Then we can go ahead and strip these back. Looks like they might be a 12 gauge. Yep, looks like they're 12. And so we have all these stripped back. We'll just twist them. We're gonna be attaching these with wire caps. And this is pretty much where we're at when you buy the wiring kit for these things. It's gonna be some type of wire setup with these three gauge, these three different wires, and you're gonna be able to just attach them as you would. The only difference is, is that I got this one on something I already had, exactly what we need, and we can wire it into our appliance and get our appliance working. And this right here is the bottom front of our dishwasher. When I was looking at the instructions, it said, go ahead and look on the left side and there's a panel that you remove. I looked all the way around this thing. A lot of these new dishwashers are completely enclosed plastic. There was no panel. So as I started inspecting it, I knew it had to be somewhere. And on the front behind this flap, which the instructions didn't say, we're gonna find this on the right side, which even on the side right here, it says right. So the instructions are wrong, but I found it. It's gonna be a little panel. You remove a little cover like this with a single screw and then you can take it off and you'll have these three wires behind it, black, white, and green. This is your, white is your neutral, black is your hot, and green is gonna be your ground. And then we can go ahead and wire in our power cord, whichever power cord you decide to use. We are gonna use these wire connectors. 
we will secure it inside and put the cover back on. Then we can run the cord underneath and we can go into the cabinet and hook this appliance up. So here's our setup. We can go ahead and do green to green. And again, the extension cord is a lot heavier gauge. Looks like it's a 12 gauge. And uh, these wires look like they're possibly a 16. And then we'll do black to black. And then we can do our white to our white. Just like that. And so you can get a better look at it. Usually you're gonna have a panel like this on your dishwasher or whatever your appliance is. You'll have your wires coming out. We'll do the coordination of the colors, wire them in. These are gonna be all secure. You can have them come through here. And as it comes through, it'll run underneath the dishwasher panel that will screw back on over it. And now we have a long enough cord that can go all the way through our cabinet and we'll plug in. Also, when you're wiring in one of these appliances, a lot of times they have these little knockouts. You can get these little knockout inserts. That way when you insert your wire through here, it'll actually hold it. They do a lot of these on light fixtures. So if you need some of these, I'll put links for any of these items in the description. But this helps protect the wire from chafing on the metal surface here. You don't want it directly on there. Even though this is sleeved, we're gonna push it through and then we can have all of our connections in here secure. So here's actually a better idea of how it's finished. I have this in here now to protect our wire coming out and I fed it through and then made the connections. So in the video where I'm actually connecting them, I just was showing it and then I went back, realized we had to come through here on this appliance so we can go underneath. So you put one of these little garments here inside the metal opening so we don't have any contact on our wire and then we feed everything through and then wire it up and then we'll tuck these in and put the cover back on and we'll be done. And there we have it. Everything's wired in on the front. We have our power cord here. We can feed this through inside our cabinet, plug it in over there. And I made this out of one of my old extension cords. You can do it yourself, very easy fix. And that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you how you can make your own power cord yourself. You can even repair an extension cord. In this video, I showed you how to make your own power cord for an appliance. You could even use something from like an old vacuum. If you want to throw something away, you can cut the cord off and you can use that for an appliance. It is really common, like a lot of these appliances, such as the dishwasher, the garbage disposal, and some other small things, they do not come with the power source or a power cord. And then you find yourself going back to the store. I didn't want to do that today and I wanted to make it happen. I want to get everything inside this kitchen here finished and uh, just kind of made it work. Thought it'd be a cool video for you guys. A little innovative and creative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I know you may or may not like this idea, but that cord is actually a higher grade and stronger cord than the ones you might buy at the store that are made as a kit for it. Could be more affordable, depends on your situation, but just wanted to show you how this thing works and take this knowledge and do what you will with it. If you like the video, please hit like. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm really good at getting back to them. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next build.